That was Sarah with Awkward here on Z90.7 WZAS, and welcome to the booth, Sarah. So, I'd like to get some introductions going, so. What's up, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Corinne. I'm Austin. Nice to meet you guys. Um, just to get you more acquainted with us, what's your favorite movie? Uh, for me, most and definitely it's going to be Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, because Michael Sarah is my favorite actor. Um, mine is The Royal Tenenbaums because I really like Wes Anderson as a director. I just love all the Star Wars movies. Every single one of them. <laughs> nice. nice. Okay, now I have a question. How long have you guys known each other and how did the band get started? Ooh. <laughs> That's such a loaded question. Uh, let's see. I think I've known Corinne for about four years now. Yeah, about that. And then I've known Austin for two. I've only known Corinne for about a year and you for two. Yeah, and then, let's see, Austin and I started the band a little over a year ago, just because we both have a passionate love for Michael Sarah. <laughs> and came, then... He just came up to my locker room and was like, hey, dude, you want to be in a band? I was like, sure, dude. And that's how it started. Yeah, and then, let's see, Corinne joined the band, I want to say, in August? Yeah, about August. Yeah. So I've got to ask, because it's such a really awesome way to explain your name, but is it really because of your love for Michael Sarah or... <laughs> Yeah, we we were debating in the beginning whether to just like fully rip off his last name and spell it C E R A, but we decided to do S E R A, and then more recently we decided to also say that our name is also short for like serotonin, like the stuff that makes you happy in the brain. That is such a be beautiful explanation. I absolutely love that idea. Um, so Austin, I guess I'll start with you. Um. What's your favorite Sarah song right now? Uh, mine have to be Control, just because the beat slaps. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, Corin? Um, I really like Honey Bee a lot. Honey Bee. And Mr. Sarah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mine's probably got to be Awkward, just because it's a real bop. It's real fun to just get into and just kind of headbang. Yeah, I was I was jamming out to that song earlier today. I absolutely love what you guys did with it. It's dope. Thank you. So what is your guys' goal? Like fame or is this just some fun activity? Fun. We do it all for fun. We love playing the crowds of people, hearing them, getting them involved. Most mm. definitely, yeah. We I'd really like entertaining the masses as well. We really enjoy the art, playing instruments together, mm -hmm. all that stuff. I just kind of like meeting new people and making new friends and seeing new places. That too, yeah. yeah. So... Um, Going to concerts, being at concerts, uh, what has been your most memorable experience for each one of you guys? Um, mine would have to be the dare that Sam made for me whenever uh, he said, if we ever get as famous as a uh, uh, follow-up we did when Sugar We're Going Down came out, I'm going to get him tattooed on my left butt cheek. <laughs> yeah. And then I promised I would get Austin's face tattooed on my right butt cheek. So we got that going on. Yeah. Corin, whose who's, who's face is he, are you getting No it ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe she anything. could get like me and Austin tattooed on like both cheeks. No. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> got to rep the Sarah squad, dude. <laughs> no, but um, per personally, my favorite moment I've had together as a band was um, after our Halloween show, we, we played at um, a party the um, owner of Ripley's Bar came up to us and he's like, man, I really like your guys' sound. You have to start playing at my bars. And it just, uh, I can tell it all made us feel really good and it was really exciting to have that opportunity. So, so do you guys perform at Ripley's Bar a lot then? Yeah. Uh, yeah, every once in a while, yep. And we actually have a show there tomorrow night starting at 10. If anyone feels plus. like, you know. Hearing some good music or whatever. 21 plus. Oh, All yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is 21 plus. So if you're under 21, I guess, tough luck to you. So favorite ice cream. Do you guys have a specific favorite ice cream that you guys love to share? Mint chocolate chip. I'd say mint chocolate chip, too. Too bad. Oh. Yeah. I really like uh, caramel praline. <laughs> Actually, that is my ice cream. Oh, nice, nice. Love it. Nice. You know, just good. to be different, I want to say mine's pistachio ice cream, just so I yeah, can like be different cream. from Austin. Ooh, that's a, that is one of my favorites, too, but I think I'm nice. going to stick with caramel. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what is your favorite food? I don't really think I have a favorite food, but uh, 
My favorite snack, I'd have to say, is probably Austin. <laughs> I would leave right now. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You know, right. I mean it in um, good spirit. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite food is sushi, for sure. I love sushi. It's really, it's really good. really good. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I just really like Mexican food a lot. That's where we differ. <laughs> I'll eat any food. Some of my friends call me the trash can. But when it comes to Mexican food, why would you mix meat and sell or lettuce? Sell that together as a salad? I don't. Mm. I, I get the unhealthy stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. The more fried, the better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, where do you see yourselves in about five years from now? Five or ten years from now? Where do you guys see mm. yourself? Well, I would like to see us maybe on, like, Riot Fest or, like, Lollapalooza or something like that. That'd be real fun. Yeah, I, same goes for Sam. I'd love to be playing, you know, big big shows at that point. Me yeah. too. I just love playing in big crowds. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what's what was your main goal for uh, starting Sarah? Do you, do you really like this for the fame, or do you like this for the fun, or was there just a deeper reason why you wanted to start Sarah? We just wanted to start it for fun. We yeah. didn't really think it would take off anywhere. <laughs> yeah, sort of the same. Like, uh, for me, it's kind of more of, like, a personal thing. Like, music to me is, like, kind of therapeutic. Like, it kind of, you know, gets me through the day, helps me wake up in the morning, helps me go to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. If I'm not, like, not playing music, I kind of get, like, in, like, a weird mood or, like, kind of depressed or, like, irritable. Kind of like I'm hangry, like, whenever I'm hungry. <laughs> so, like, that's kind of why. What would be the word for that? What? For, like, hungry for music, but angry. Mangry? There you go. I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll yeah, we'll take it. Mangry. <laughs> Put me on the spot, bro. Well <laughs> I really like how you guys explained serotonin and how that makes everybody happy. And I really, that's, that's why I relate with music, too. I absolutely love feeling that high off of just eating music, pretty much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is my favorite snack. That's kind of orgasmic in a way. That's a... <laughs> so... <laughs> On that note, um, what, um, for each of you guys, what's your, who's your favorite artist? Other than Sarah, obviously. Ooh, I, mm, that's tough. Um, personally, I, I like Nickelback. I like that type of genre music. Uh, but my favorite, like, drummer is Questlove. I love okay. his, his type. I absolutely love Questlove, mm -hmm. too. Uh, Nickelback. I'm sure a lot of people are at home, just like, what are you talking oh, yeah, about? Like, but I like, I like, not, I'm right I like. I'm thinking, Nickelback. what is he talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I probably we just lost 24 followers right there. Um, I would say that my favorite artist is Sufjan Stevens. Um, his music's really good, in my opinion. The instrumentals are great, and it just kind of touches my soul in a way that good music does. <laughs> favorite band? That's like. Another loaded question. Like, there's too many to choose from. Like, of all time, I'd probably say Cage the Elephant's my favorite band, just because, like, I've been listening to them for so long. But uh, more recently, I've been really jamming a lot of Car Seat Headrest and Tame Impala. Yeah, Car Seat Headrest really made a huge turnout. But, um, so off of your favorite artists, who, um, what major artists or group, unless it's your, your, yourselves, who really inspires Sarah altogether? That's a lot of bands. We really take <laughs> take after like the Black Keys, Cage Elephant, uh, White Stripes. A lot of um, the bass lines that I've made are based loosely off of um, some early Arctic Monkeys bass lines. Um, a lot of my songwriting and like guitar writing kind of comes from uh, the Front Bottoms and then the Vaccines. Mm -hmm. Like those are like the two like heavy influences that I have when it comes to songwriting. I really love the Front Bottoms. They're so good. I actually like that's the reason why I got them tattooed on me. Nice. Yeah. Um, a little bit off track of like artists and singers and all that. Um, either growing up or while making music, who outside of music has been like your major inspirations to pursue what you want to pursue or pursue your music career? Uh, probably my entire family. My entire family has always been supportive of me no matter what I do. Um, my dad is a musician, and he's kind of, like, taught me everything I know, and he's a really good guy, and he's just kind of helped me develop as a musician throughout the years. Um, for me, it's probably my mom, I'm not going to lie, because uh, she was the one that pushed me to play guitar, because uh, when I was about 13, I wanted to start learning how to play, but I kind of procrastinated it, 
So she sat down and learned how to play Smoke on the Water before me, <laughs> and then handed me the guitar, and she's like, if I can do it, you can do it. Wow. And I'm just like, I, ha- I have to one-up my mom, so I had to, I had to learn how to play at that point. Can she still play it? I don't know. I, I'd have to ask her. Oh, man. Without those beats. <laughs> <laughs> So before we go, um, what do you ha- do? You, have, you guys have any words for any inspiring artists? Uh, for the drummers out there, um, pra- you you can't get good at something without practicing. You need to practice to get good at it. Okay. Um, for any artist really out there, you don't really have to even be a musician. Um, in order to make good art, you have to make art. So keep trying, and you'll succeed. I like that. Like, uh, for me, it's kind of just, like, keep trying until, like, you find the right people, like I did with Corinne and Austin. You know, I kept pursuing music until the right people just came along and entered my life. Um, and do you guys have any social media that we can follow you on? Almost oh, definitely. We have a Facebook. We got an Instagram. We have a Twitter. We got YouTube. Every form. What's Bandcamp, SoundCloud. Hmm? What's your Twitter handle? Twitter handle? Uh, I think, it's, what is it, like, at Sarah Band? keep talking i'll look it up <laughs> so we're, we're gonna stall for like the next 30 seconds while austin looks up all of our social media links and i'm gonna read them out letter by letter for everybody no. <laughs> thank you uh, okay while we're stalling <laughs> what is your favorite chip kind of Ooh. chip there we go uh harvest cheddar sun chips and no, no questions wow, asked very oh. specific Damn. You, like there's like no going wrong a close second though is pringles i love pringles, pringles all right it's gross okay all right, it's at, at Sarah Band 2016. Right. Okay. okay. Cool, so everyone cool. should go follow them for sure. Um, uh, and then when did you guys say when your next performance was? Our next show we have is tomorrow night at Ripley's Bar. It starts at 10 p.m. We uh, kick the show off, actually, right at 10. Nice. And we have a punk fest coming up soon. Yep, uh, we actually have a Midwest punk fest coming up uh, at the end of March, but that's in Evansville if uh, anyone wants to make the drive to see your favorite band. <laughs> And I also have to ask, because I always love new music, do you guys have any, are you guys working on any new music? Uh, we're sort of in the process of working on album number two. We're just kind of spitballing some ideas of, like, what we want to do and, like, what direction we want to take it. We have about, like, four half-written songs. Yeah, we, we got four irons in the fire, soon. I'd say. Sam really likes saying that, irons in the fire. I love <laughs> irons in the fire. Make like, it into a chorus. We could. <laughs> we could. We could. Yeah. Is it going to be any different from your first album? I, I, I would I would say it's a lot different. Like, awesome. Like we'll obviously have like the influences from like the first album in there, but we kind of want to like I don't know branch out a bit more and like kind of find ourselves a little bit more and like see like what's out there genre wise and like what we can fit into. We'll see what people like. Well, um, do you have any final questions for Sarah? Nope, I think I'm good. All right, so. Thank you guys for coming in. I think we might have to have a little Sarah or Michael Sarah battle. Oh, we will. This is over. <laughs> we will. It's on. Scott Pilgrim action in here. Yeah, it's thanks on, for man. having us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. You we guys have it, a man. great night, and be sure to catch out their uh, awesome concert coming up tomorrow night. 21 plus, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. So to head on out, we got Gonna Be Okay from the group.